What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Lou Rock TV. And today, I'm going to do something a little different. I've done trades before. I've done trade videos. Um, I've traded with people on YouTube. But all you've ever seen is what I've gotten in return. Um, and I'll just tell you real quick what I've traded. I thought, you know, I did a trade with Scott Maz on YouTube. Go sub him up. There's going to be a link. Um, but, uh, it's going to be a monster card I traded for. Probably the biggest card I've ever traded for. Um, I'm super excited. And the twist is, is not a baseball card. It's not. So you'll probably see it. At, well, in fact, you will see it the way I'm trying to cut and edit this video. When I get the card, I'll film the, <laughs> the end. But, you know, you'll see the twist through uh, YouTube magic in a few minutes. But uh, what I'm trading, so my whole process is, you know, I got my little microfiber claws because with a monster card like this, it deserves to be treated as such. So um, the two, there's three major cards in this trade that help facil facilitate this trade. And I'm... Uh, this is the first one, 2018 Tops Update Soto. And you guys know this card is going through the roof. I have three of them. After this trade, I will have two. And I did my best to pick the best one because um, I keep my cards raw. It doesn't matter to me as long as, long as I have a good representation. But um, I told my man I was going to give him a solid one, at least a nine that will grade out. And uh, out of the three, I thought this one was the sharpest. There's no white on the back or on the front. And um, put in a brand new top loader. So when he opens it, it's like. <laughs> and I put in a, a team bag because you got to make it waterproof because I'm melting it. The second banger I'm trading is this uh, 97 UD3 Kobe Bryant prospect card. Little rainbow foil on that sucker. And I did the same process. Brand new top loader. Um, nice team badge. Keep it nice and waterproof. And this one, you know, I checked the surface. Checked the rainbow foil. The surface is beautiful. And I got two of these. I now have one. But I always knew I was going to trade it. And when I saw my man's video, hint, hint, hint on what I might be getting, um, I was like... I'm, I knew this was probably going to be part of the trade. And I had two of them, so I'm okay with that. I read both of them as a kid. So, um, yeah, there's that. These are the two bangers that help facilitate the trade. The third one, yep, this was in my Jeter case. Um, in my opinion, it's the best raw Jeter I have for the 93 tops. I still got a few more. I think I got three more. I know I gave one to Rude Dog um, in a care package to help him out with his Jeter collection, but... I think this is my best one. Corners are pretty sharp. It is off center, um, bottom to top, but all mine <laughs> were pretty off centered. Um, I really didn't have anything beautiful. This was the best one. I, I took the cleanest one. Surface is beautiful, no dimples. Um, corners are sharp, but it is off center, but that's the best one I had. Um, so those were the main ones. And you know, the key to every trade is making both parties happy. And, um, you know, a lot of the cards I was, I had up for trade, he wasn't really feeling, just didn't want it, didn't go into his PC. So he was like, how about those three cards and 150 bucks cash on top of it? Well, I didn't want to pay that much cash. That's why I was offering the trade. So um, I'm like, I got a lot of rookie cards of new guys. So he's like, well, what you got? And the, the Acunas that I had available, it was this holiday. I had two of these. I now have one. And a rookie debut. Which, I mean, you can never go wrong. Nothing too crazy, but still a rookie debut of the man. And um, I didn't have much Zions. But this was the only Zion he was interested in. And I think it's only because it was a prism. You know, nothing crazy. But again, I cleaned the surface. It's a beautiful card. And that pretty much brought me from... Uh, 150 to 120 
which I was cool with. So added those those three cards and 120 on top. So recap. The Zion, boom, Prism, rookie debut of Acuna, Acuna Holiday, rookie card, 93 Tops Jeter, and the Bangers, 2018 Soto, and 2007, am I saying right? Yeah, 2007, 1997, UD Upper Deck. And it's dope because it's Rainbow Foil on both sides. I think my man Scott's gonna enjoy that card. I really love that card. But it's the only Kobe rookie I had that was a double. And I was okay pairing with it because I have a double. And that card is starting to move up. Upper Deck is a beautiful product. So let me flip the camera around and show you the next process in this. All right, as you can see, a little microfiber cloths from prior cleaned up all the surfaces on these cards so they're nice and shiny put in a nice little brick i always put the the fire in the middle just in case you know but i am going to protect these cards you always protect your uh protect you always save your materials from other care packages or other ebayers so i'll probably hook it up like this a little blue tape bubble mailer bang Slip it in there, extra protection, and then throw it in this bubble mailer and send it off. I'll show you the finished package in two seconds. All right, beautiful people, I am back. Here's a finished product. Got some pull tabs, make it nice and easy. Even though the cards that you saw, I individually wrapped them each. I put all of them together for a nice brick and a bigger team bag. And now, I'm happy with that. I'll put it in this. I'm sure you can find these at Wally World Amazon, but I just save them when people send me stuff. <laughs> or when my wife orders a lot of, I think these are like makeup <laughs> bags or something. And uh, there's a nice little um, bubble mailer, which more padding, and that's it. So I'm sending this off tomorrow with the tracking number. I'll text my boy Scott and uh, let's see what I get. Deuces. So now this is the conclusion to this epic trade. Biggest card I ever traded for. I'm super excited. I text my boy Scott Maz and um, I told him that the cards I sent for the trade should be there tomorrow. Um, and I think he replied with, the, my card should be here today or tomorrow. And um, when I went to pick up my daughter, I said, you know what? The P.O. box ain't too far. So I stopped by. And uh, when I picked up my daughter from church, went by the P.O. box and got this. Super, super excited. But uh, prior to that, I was rummaging, and uh, I had like a Ray, I had a Ray Allen Stadium Club rookie card. Found me a second year Kobe, which is pretty dope. This is my album, and then this this is probably the best page I had. I'm gonna take these out, but I got three Iversons, a Ray Allen. No more of a reaction, but. Those Iversons are pretty tight. They're, uh, they look good. I got two in top loaders in my, in my basketball box. So it's always gonna have Iverson reviews. So let's get to it. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Scott, thank you, really appreciate it. And I can already see that you sent extras. And now I realized when I, you know, read looking at the videos and what you guys just saw, I just sent the cards and I usually send extras and I didn't send extras, but, um, I'm sure this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship, beautiful friendship. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure I'll be sending you some more cards in the future. So apologies for that. I didn't even do a note. 
I was just so excited showing you how I packaged my cards. And uh, I didn't even do a note, a thank you. No, oh, well, I got your, you got my cell phone. I've been texting you. I'm enjoying the text messages, that's fun. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> why is Bob getting so much stuff? What in, I wanna open this. I'm gonna have to trade it for that triple play though. That's dope. Put in my unsealed wax. My boy Scott got an impressive collection of unopened. Mine is nothing like that. But this was my childhood right here. 92 Donruss. That's dope. And I see some cards in there. Okay, I can't do... I'll have her open this on another video. But this is dope. She's going to be super excited. Ooh. 90 Fleer unopened. Thank you. I'm assuming this is mine because Bob's name is on it. Uh, oh, I mess up the pack. This is tight. I don't have this right here. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. Look at that. Boom, that's dope. It's gonna look good on my other cards. Love it. Thank you so much. Now, let me unwrap this for the sake of time. I'll just go over it. I want you to see my dumb face. You can deal with it. What? Oh, snap. So my man sent me some Yankee cards. This cat. Ooh, 95 Pinnacle Bernie. Oh, 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 extras, extras. Ooh, look, a Bazooka Don Maddenly. Sick. Oh, a Dwight Gooden in pinstripes. Rock and Fire Andy Pettit. Love this Bernie, 95 Pinnacle. I know I don't have this one. Cause that picture sticks out. I love the Pinnacle of that year. And then this one says, Manny signed this for me at Wrigley Field in 83. <gasps> what? What? Now people who don't know, they're like, Manny, who are you talking about, Manny? But Clementin knows. Clemente fans know. When I say Manny, we're not talking about Manny Ramirez. Or, uh, I don't know. I'm, I can't think of another Manny. Because the Manny I come is Manny Sengi and Clemente's best friend. Look at that. How dope is that? Unbelievable. That is perfect for my Clemente PC. I mean, wow. Wow, that's dope. I gotta call my boy, Mangini. He's gonna love that. I love talking to him, John. Wow, Scott. Wow, that's, that's, that means a lot. I love that. Thank you so much. Manny Singian. That's dope. All right. I got to give the people what they want. I got to show them the banger, but that's beautiful. That's a beautiful card. I like how he signed it horizontal, too. Oh, horizontal. Vertical. Look at him. All happy. Look at that gap. Love it. Speaking of gaps, you saw Judge fixed his teeth. I know you got all that money, but come on, man. That that gap is your trademark. Straight, it works for straight hand. All right. So this is going in one touch. But look at how clean this Kobe is. Yep, I traded for it. 96 tops Kobe rookie. I missed out on it. A couple times. 
I looked at him at shows. I missed on it about, I don't know, a month ago, a month and a half ago. I could have bought a Kobe rookie for about 200, but it wasn't in this good of a shape. Um, the one I was going to buy for 200 had one soft corner, it's a little OC. Um, beggars can be choosers, but this one was so clean. And Scott, I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to trade for it. I really hope you enjoy the cards I sent, the future cards I'm going to send. And um, yeah, that's that epic trade. Kobe. That's so dope. But the surprise of the break. Oh, I have it. I, I'm looking at my Manny. I had it already propped up on my desk. That's so dope. So, so dope. I had it signed in 83. That's crazy. I was two in 1983. <laughs> All right. So with that, peace out. Go Yankees.